yesterday we had Donald Trump who took to Truth Social and wrote uh, in caps, I hate Taylor Swift. Why is uh, the former president going after this 34-year-old pop star, essentially? Yeah, well, this obviously got, got a, a lot less attention once the assassination attempt on Donald Trump happened. But yes, in the hours before that, that happened, he took to his true social platform and tweeted, I hate Taylor Swift. And this arguably is because Taylor Swift will have likely an impact on this election, albeit it may not be huge. You have to remember that we are playing with an election here which will be decided on the margins, which could arguably be decided by 50,000 people just in Pennsylvania. Uh, so uh, her tweet that went out, to her Instagram post rather, that went out to over 280 million people could have an impact. I also spoke to a spokesperson from uh, GSA, which is the government agency that runs voting Vote.gov, uh, and they told me that in the 24 hours after Taylor Swift posted her endorsement of Kamala Harris, she uh, posted a personalized link to Vote.gov to get people to register to vote. Uh, and in the 24 hours after that link was posted, just shy of 406 thousand people clicked on that link. Uh, so that, that is a massive spike in traffic to the website, which normally gets about 30,000 clicks a day. So well over 10 times the, the website traffic going through that site, thanks to that Taylor Swift, uh, that Taylor Swift posting. It must be said, however, it's impossible to, to know exactly how many people that resulted in being uh, registered as new voters, because that Websites basically disseminates people to their own state uh, websites, uh, but it still nevertheless is an in a massive increase in traffic for that website. So Taylor Swift, a very popular musician, a very uh, influential person in the United States and around the world, and no doubt that is why Donald Trump uh, now says that he hates her. Um, thank you very much for that, Fraser. Fraser Jackson there.